Oh my god, the, oh my god, we found the library! In the hidden corners of our world lie forgotten relics of the past, shrouded in mystery and intrigue. From forgotten asylums to derelict factories, modern-day adventurers have been risking their lives and limbs to uncover the secrets that lie within. And amongst the rubble and ruins, they have stumbled upon discoveries that chill them to the core. So join us as we delve into the darkest recesses of urban exploration and uncover 20 of the most disturbing discoveries made by urban explorers. Number 20. Abandoned Asylum In the depths of a vast, forgotten asylum, untouched by time and buried beneath layers of dust and silence, urban explorers stumbled upon an extraordinary scene. What they discovered was nothing short of strange, an ocean of fresh medical records, each one a proof of the lives once confined within these asylum walls. These records carefully kept, and now abandoned, offered a haunting glimpse into the psychological landscapes of those who had sought refuge here. As the explorers delved deeper into the labyrinthine corridors of the decaying asylum, they were met with walls adorned with strange and weathered artwork, likely crafted by the asylum's former inhabitants. These faded murals seemed to whisper the hidden thoughts and emotions of those who had long since departed, transforming the asylum into a cryptic warehouse of forgotten memories. Yet amidst the peeling paint and crumbling walls, it was the profound silence that struck the explorers the most. This silence, thick with the weight of history, enveloped them like heavy burial clothes, broken only by the faint rustle of old goatskin and the echo of their own footsteps. Number 19. Abandoned Hospital. Imagine a place left behind, forgotten by time and people. Hospitals, once bustling with life-saving activity, can turn strange when abandoned. They become like haunted relics, whispering tales of the past to those who dare to explore their silent corridors. One such hospital, untouched for two decades, beckoned urban explorers with its mysterious allure. Filming their journey, they uncovered a time capsule from 2001 when financial woes forced its closure. Opened up in the 60s, I believe, and it shut down in 2001. Despite its closure, the hospital remained frozen in time, a snapshot of its former bustling self from the 1960s. Inside, the explorers stumbled upon a treasure trove of medical artifacts, vials of blood, equipment, and carefully kept patient files. The strange atmosphere was heightened by posters and notices, reminders of a once-functioning facility abruptly halted in its tracks. What made this discovery truly chilling was the realization of the consequences. Patient records, crucial for continuity of care, were left abandoned. Vital medical equipment lay idle while precious blood, needed for surgeries and transfusions, went to waste. As the explorers delved deeper, they uncovered the hospital's grim backstory. Dubbed the Bad Debt Hospital in Georgia, it languished under a crushing debt burden, ultimately closing its doors. The fallout was disastrous. Locals, now forced to travel 90 minutes for medical aid, suffered a surge in health crises, including heart attacks. Number 18. Creepy Doll Found in Cave In recent times, there's been a curious surge in explorers stumbling upon peculiar objects that seem tailor-made for horror movie sets. Imagine adventurers venturing into the unknown, only to stumble upon a weathered doll sitting dangerously in the depths of a cave, or a rusted-out child's tricycle abandoned in the midst of a desolate forest. These discoveries have sparked a wave of fascination and skepticism alike. What adds to the intrigue is the uncanny frequency with which such finds occur. It's as if every corner of the globe has its own collection of strange artifacts waiting to be unearthed. One can't help but wonder if there's more to these sightings than meets the eye. Consider the case of the purportedly haunted doll found deep within the confines of a cavern. Some claim it to be the genuine remnants of a forgotten era, while others remain skeptical, questioning whether it's merely a staged spectacle aimed at gaining viral attention. However, it's essential to note that not all discoveries fit neatly into the realm of skepticism. Some, like the weird remnants of abandoned settlements or the remnants of forgotten rituals, offer glimpses into humanity's complex and often haunting history. 
As the debate rages on between skeptics and believers, one thing remains certain. The beauty of the unknown continues to captivate our imagination, driving us to explore even the darkest corners of our planet in search of answers. Number 17. Door in the Mountain. Seriously though, wh wh where does the electricity come from? An adventurer, hailing from a platform known as Red Media, embarks on a journey through mountainous terrain. As he strides along the rugged paths, a makeshift plank serves as his guide towards a mysterious doorway nestled within the mountain's craggy frontage. Upon reaching the entrance, cautionary signs loom, warning of potential dangers within. Yet to urban explorers like him, these warnings serve as fuel for their curiosity, propelling them further into the unknown. Beyond the threshold lies the enigmatic Chaff Block, an ice cave fondly dubbed the Door in the Mountain. Its cavernous depths evoke the illusion of a natural edifice transformed into a passageway leading into the Earth's very heart. Delving into its history, we discover that in 1822, General Henry Dufour documented his visit to this cave, known locally as the Shaft Sheep Hole, owing to its sheep inhabitants. As time unfurled, the tumult of World War II cast its shadow even upon this secluded sanctuary. The Swiss Army, ever vigilant, constructed a bunker within its confines, fortifying it with concrete guard, iron barriers, and strategic passage for defense. Though never called into action, this bunker now serves as a lookout, accessible to fearless hikers, though at their own risk. Number 16, a tunnel network. As we were digging, I kept thinking of that verse in Oh My Darling Clementine, Ibanesque, Gavate, and for a Mine. Deep beneath the bustling streets of an ancient, forgotten city lies a hidden network of tunnels, shrouded in darkness and mystery. Urban adventurers, drawn by curiosity, dared to explore these subterranean passageways, only to stumble upon a sight both perplexing and unsettling. Upon the rough walls of the tunnels, strange symbols were etched with uncanny precision, as if crafted by careful hands long ago. Each symbol seemed to tell a story, yet their meaning remained elusive, lost to the passage of time. The explorers, their torchlights flickering against the damp stone, cast strange shadows that danced across the symbols, lending them an almost lifelike quality. As they ventured deeper into the wandering jungle, the air grew colder and the silence became oppressive, broken only by the soft whispers of the tunnels themselves. Every curve and line of the symbols seemed to pulsate with hidden messages, teasing at untold secrets and forgotten histories. Despite their best efforts, the explorers could not decode the mysterious language that adorned the walls, adding to the sense of unease that permeated the dank tunnels. It was as if they were navigating through a silent narrative, written in a tongue known only to the ghosts of the past, leaving the adventurers to wonder at the mysteries concealed within the depths of the Earth. Number 15. Soviet Space Shuttle Program What is that hole? Whoa, this is a hatch. Look! How do we get there? See where it hatches. The Soviet Union's space shuttle program is a fascinating tale that often gets overlooked. Back in the day, the USSR was fully invested in the race to conquer space. They were in direct competition with the United States, striving to be the first to achieve remarkable feats like launching satellites and sending humans into space. It was an intense rivalry known as the space race, and initially, the USSR had the upper hand, accomplishing significant milestones before their American counterparts. Imagine the excitement and anticipation as the world watched history unfold with each new achievement. The USSR's early successes, including putting the first satellite in space and sending a human into orbit, painted a picture of dominance in space exploration. However, the tide turned dramatically when the United States achieved the ultimate victory landing two astronauts on the moon in 1969. This monumental event marked a turning point in the space race, shifting the balance of power and prestige. As the passion of the space race diminished, so did the Soviet Union's focus on space exploration. The once ambitious projects and cutting-edge spacecraft were left neglected, abandoned to the passage of time. One such reminder of this bygone era lies in the forgotten hangars of Kak, 
where remnants of the Soviet space shuttle program can still be found. These shuttles, once the pride of Soviet engineering, now sit silently, slowly succumbing to decay. Number 14. Kid Shoes and Bones Imagine being far underground, surrounded by darkness, with the possibility of losing your way or becoming trapped. It's far from a pleasant outing. Now throw in the strange factor of stumbling upon unsettling discoveries inside an old mine, and you've got a recipe for serious fearfulness. Take, for instance, the McCoy Mine in Nevada. Imagine a group of explorers cautiously navigating through the mine, their movements so delicate that they avoid any vibrations that might dislodge rocks. Suddenly, they stumble upon a massive pile of shoes. How old would you say these shoes are, Dad? But that's not the end of it. Mixed among the shoes are bones. Just the sight of it sends fears down their minds. Despite their unease, they press on deeper into the mine, only to find more bones and more shoes. It's when they realize that all the shoes are children's sizes that the gravity of the situation truly sinks in. Their silence speaks volumes as they make a unanimous decision to leave, and honestly, who could blame them? The whole situation begs the question, what in the world is going on here? It's a disturbing mystery that leaves them shaken to the core, and rightfully so. Number 13. Japanese Wild West Village Lies an abandoned Wild West theme park. Think about it, a Wild West theme park in the mountains of Japan. In the same way many Americans love Japanese animation and martial arts movies, there are Japanese folks who are crazy about cowboys and the Wild West. Back in the 1970s, someone had the bright idea to create a whole amusement park dedicated to this obsession. Imagine a place where you could pretend to be a cowboy, riding horses, lassoing, and even fishing. It started small, but soon it blossomed into a full-fledged theme park. But as time went on, something changed. By the mid-2000s, people in Japan just weren't interested in being cowboys anymore. Even slashing ticket prices couldn't save the park. Now it sits there, forgotten and empty, like a ghost town from the Old West. Recently, a brave explorer named Micah Moore decided to check out what's left of the park. To get there, he had to cross a treacherous bridge over a deep canyon. But what he found was like stepping into a time machine. The park still had everything you'd expect from a cowboy town. Saloons, churches, sheriff's offices. There were even arcade games with a cowboy twist and a mini Mount Rushmore. It's like a blend of two worlds, the wild west of America and the cowboy craze in Japan from two decades ago. Number 12. A Decommissioned Subway Car Hidden below the bustling city streets, a group of curious urban adventurers stumbled upon a forgotten relic of the past, an old subway car left to decay amidst the relentless march of progress. This relic, once a vital part of the city's transit system, now lay dormant, obscured by layers of dust and shadows. Inside this strange time capsule, the remnants of a bygone era lay frozen in time. The worn seats still bore the impressions of long-gone passengers, while faded advertisements whispered promises from a distant past. Graffiti, the rebellious art of the streets, adorned the walls, telling stories of defiance and expression. As the explorers delved deeper into this subterranean world, they felt the weight of history pressing down upon them. Well, the New York City subway system has been up and running for more than a century, but through the decades, the cars passengers ride in have always been evolving. The silence of the underground enveloped them, broken only by the sound of their footsteps echoing off the walls. It was as if time itself had stopped in this forgotten corner of the city. With each step, the explorers traced the paths of commuters long gone, immersing themselves in a slice of history untouched by the passage of time. Here, Beneath the vibrant cityscape above, they discovered a hidden world of solitude and mystery where the ghosts of the past whispered secrets of days gone by. Number 11. Mannequin Graveyard The strange season of Halloween might have passed in 2023, but that doesn't mean folks aren't already brewing up ideas for next year's festivities. Believe me, there are those out there who live and breathe Halloween every single day, and they're already scheming for the next big thing. For instance, in 2021, when the UK cooked up something truly unique for Halloween, a chilling attraction set in a salvage yard. Their brainchild? A makeshift zombie graveyard, but with a twist. Instead of the usual undead, they opted for butchered mannequins to fill the strange space. 
Now, at first glance, mannequins might not send shivers down your spine, but imagine a crowd of them, posed in various unsettling positions, some incomplete, all lurking in the shadows as unsuspecting visitors wander through after dark. It's bound to send a chill up your spine. To add to the fright factor, the genius behind this terrifying creation decided to dress things up a notch. Limbless mannequins, childlike dolls gathered around a zombie figure sporting a blonde wig. It's a scene straight out of a nightmare. You might assume nobody would dare venture into such a terrifying setup, but you'd be dead wrong. Even before its debut in 2021, tickets were nearly sold out. It goes to show people have a love for being scared silly, and they'll go to great lengths to experience that spine-tingling thrill. Number 10. Abandoned World War II. Fortress. The mysterious depths of an ancient fortress take courage, but these fearless urban explorers took it a step further by infiltrating through a hidden passage, a worn-out sewer pipe. Imagine a King's Era structure, covered in history and mystery, accessible only through a dangerous and narrow path beneath the city streets. With determination fueling their spirits, these daring adventurers prepared themselves for the daunting task ahead. Despite initial hesitations, they summoned the courage to navigate the strong match confines of the tunnel, inching forward on hands and knees, braving the chilling thought of being wedged in place, relating to Winnie the Pooh in a tight spot. It's a scenario that could quicken anyone's heartbeat, just imagining the squeeze and confinement. Yet, these judges either possessed a streak of madness, extraordinary bravery, or perhaps an insatiable curiosity for the unconventional. Would you dare to follow suit, enduring the discomfort for a glimpse of a shaky structure braced in history? Imagine the thrill, the anticipation, as they emerged on the other side, greeted not by mere ruins, but a perfectly preserved replica of the fortress, devoid of the street art and vandalism that marred its counterpart. Number 9. Cave Under Haunted House Beneath the strange frontage of a supposedly haunted house lies a hidden secret, a vast underworld waiting to be explored. The story unfolds through the lens of a fearless urban explorer known as Cappy, capturing footage that piqued the curiosity of viewers. As Cappy delves deeper into the mysterious depths, he stumbles upon a revelation. The house sits atop a sprawling cave system, hidden in darkness and mystery. Undeterred by the foreboding atmosphere, he presses on, his camera capturing every strange detail. The cave's rocky surfaces are cloaked in a thick layer of moss, emitting an unsettling odor that hangs heavy in the air. It might not even look like it, but this is water. There's a little stream system. Undeterred by the ominous surroundings, Cappy's adventurous spirit propels him forward. With each step, he unravels more of the cave's secrets. Amidst the shadows, he encounters a subterranean stream, its waters flowing silently through the depths. In a moment of jest, he dreams about the treasures that may lie hidden beneath the surface, lamenting the absence of his trusty metal detector. Despite his fearless exploration, he eventually reaches a dead end, baffled by a blocked expanse of water. Yet, his discovery hints at a larger network of underground streams, suggesting a hidden world beneath the surface. As speculation runs rampant among viewers, one observer offers a credible explanation. The house may have been strategically built above a natural spring, with the basement serving as a cold basement for storing goods. This theory sheds light on the practical purpose behind the mysterious cave. Number 8. A School Abandoned Mid-Lesson Imagine stumbling upon a deserted school frozen in time, as if the students and teachers vanished mid-lesson. Urban explorers often encounter such abandoned structures, but among them, a deserted school evokes a particularly touching feeling. One such building, discovered in a state of suspended animation, offered a surreal glimpse into a day interrupted in the midst of education. Within its silent halls, the absence of young voices was visible. Desks still stood in the classrooms, bearing the marks and scratches of past students. The chalkboard, though faded, retained traces of lessons never completed, serving as a firm reminder of the abrupt halt to the school's rhythm. Each inscription, each date, whispered a haunting tale of interrupted learning. Once a bustling haven for growth and knowledge, the school now stood as a ghostly monument to an unfulfilled academic year. 
As explorers ventured through its deserted corridors, they encountered a dark narrative of childhoods interrupted, a weird tension of silence where life and learning once thrived. The stillness of the abandoned classrooms echoed a reminder of life's fragile temporality, evoking a sense of sudden desertion that sent fears down the mind. Number 7. Abandoned Forest Home An urban explorer engrossed in a presentation when he's informed about a residence concealed within the nearby forest. Surprisingly, it's a contemporary dwelling, complete with a lengthy driveway and modern amenities. However, it's the strange backstory of the home's inhabitants that adds a tantalizing attraction. Rumors suggest the family who resided there were of questionable sanity, purportedly subjecting their offspring to captivity within cages. Needless to say, they wouldn't be winning any parenting awards, as remarked by the explorer. Merely reaching the location presented a daunting challenge. The house, along with its surroundings, released an atmosphere of peril, with sharp and rusted agricultural equipment lurking amidst the tall grass and weeds. The structural integrity of the house itself was questionable, with signs of decay evident throughout. One might have considered this a warning against venturing further, but alas, the explorer pressed on. To his credit, he acknowledged the hazards posed by the shabby structure. However, curiosity got the better of him, leading him to explore some of the rooms. This decision nearly proved disastrous when his foot unexpectedly breached the weakened flooring, captured vividly in the accompanying video footage. Fortunately, he managed to halt his descent just in time, narrowly averting a potentially catastrophic fall into the rift below. Number 6. A Coltan Mine in Congo In the heart of the Democratic Republic of Congo lies a secret coltan mine, hidden in darkness and danger, waiting to be unearthed by the fearless souls of investigative journalism. Unlike the casual adventurers drawn to abandoned ruins, these brave reporters delve into the depths of professional inquiry, risking it all to expose the grim realities hidden beneath our tech-driven world. Coltan, an abbreviation for columbite tantalite, is the coveted metallic essence housing neobium and tantalum, the lifeblood of our technological age. Tantalum in particular holds sway as the cornerstone of tantalum capacitors, the indispensable components powering our mobile phones, computers, cameras, and automotive electronics. The very fabric of our modern existence is intricately woven with tantalum's thread, driving an insatiable demand for its procurement. However, where there's demand, there's always a lucrative opportunity awaiting exploitation. In this instance, the exploitation falls upon the shoulders of some of the most impoverished and vulnerable souls in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The miners toil away in perilous conditions, confined within cramped spaces where the air is thick with gases that threaten suffocation. Long-term exposure to these hazardous particles poses a grave risk to their health and well-being. Despite assurances of ethical mining practices, the reality remains bleak, overshadowed by the stark contrast between the luxury of technological advancement and the stark hardship endured by those at the forefront of its extraction. Yet amidst the darkness, a beacon of hope shines faintly due to the resilience and determination of those who dare to shed light on the shadows that lurk within our demanding hunger for progress. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. In the heart of the bustling metropolis lay the ruins of an ancient city, its once towering skyscrapers now mere skeletons of steel and glass. Urban explorers drawn by whispers of its mysterious past ventured into its depths, seeking to uncover its secrets. Among these adventurers was Alex, a fearless explorer known for delving into the darkest corners of forgotten places. Armed with a flashlight and a sense of curiosity that bordered on obsession, Alex set out to unravel the mysteries of the abandoned city. As he navigated the crumbling streets and decaying buildings, a sense of unease slid over them. The silence was deafening, broken only by the occasional creak of rusted metal and the distant echo of footsteps. Shadows danced on the walls, casting strange shapes that seemed to come alive in the dim light. As he entered what appeared to be an old office building, he discovered a hidden staircase leading deep underground. Ignoring the warning signs, they descended into the darkness, the air growing colder with each step. 
At the bottom, they found themselves in a vast chamber, its walls adorned with strange symbols and faded wall painting. In the center of the chamber lay a series of ancient artifacts, their purpose long forgotten. As Alex examined them, a sense of dread washed over them. These were not mere relics of a bygone era. They were tools of unimaginable power, capable of unleashing chaos upon the world. What motivated Alexander to explore the abandoned city despite the dangers? And how do you think the discovery of the ancient artifacts will impact the world? Share your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. Hurricane Prison, New Orleans a city profoundly affected by the ravages of Hurricane Katrina in the early 2000s. When the hurricane struck, most residents evacuated or sought shelter. However, within the confines of Orlean Parish Prison, the inmates were abandoned, left to endure the storm's fury without assistance. Jay's journey led him to the Orleans Parish Prison, a towering structure where over 600 inmates found themselves stranded amidst the chaos. Cut off from the outside world, they suffered in their cells, deprived of basic necessities like ventilation, food, and water. Some were even submerged in floodwaters, struggling to keep their heads above the rising tide. Desperate, a few managed to break free from their confines, reaching the roof to etch desperate pleas for help in the form of SOS messages. In the aftermath, over 500 inmates were unaccounted for, lost amidst the commotion. Although the prisons ceased operations in 2012, the haunting remnants of this tragedy still linger within its walls. For Jay, the experience was an emotional whirlwind, exploring abandoned cell blocks, a desolate medical center, and a forlorn gym where even the act of hitting a punching bag led to its disintegration. But perhaps the most chilling moment came when Jay ascended to the highest reaches of the prison, where the abandoned inmates once waited in vain for rescue. Number 4. Uninhabited Island with Mysterious Structures In a distant, secluded corner of the world lies an untouched island, veiled by the vastness of the ocean and untouched by the hands of civilization. It was here that fearless urban explorers stumbled upon a site that stirred their curiosity to its very core. Amidst the rugged terrain of this remote expanse stood an array of mysterious structures, their purpose and origin covered in a veil of mystery, these architectural irregularities, weathered by the relentless passage of time and the elements of nature, presented a perplexing sight. Some resembled ancient dwellings, their walls adorned with layers of swampland and trailer, while others took on the form of cryptic monuments, their significance lost to the ages. Despite their varied appearances, each structure defied easy classification, leaving explorers both amazed and unnerved by their presence. As explorers delved deeper into the secrets of the island, they uncovered fragments of a forgotten civilization, remnants of pottery, intricate carvings, and discarded tools scattered amidst the undergrowth. Yet, without the guidance of written records or oral traditions, the true nature of this lost society remained elusive, its existence hinted at by these silent relics alone. Amidst the noticeable silence that enveloped the uninhabited island, broken only by the whispering of leaves and the gentle lapping of waves against its shores, the mysterious structure stood as silent lookouts of a forgotten past. Number 3. Shaniko, Oregon Shaniko is a town bustling with gold and silver. It's a calm settlement nestled next to vast wool and wheat fields in the early 1900s. The sheer abundance of wool earned Shaniko the moniker, the wool capital of the world. Moreover, it served as a pivotal point for the Columbia Southern Railway, drawing in a steady stream of visitors. With such a thriving backdrop, one might wonder how Shaniko ended up as a desolate ghost town. Well, as they say, times change. In 1911, the Oregon-Washington Railroad and Navigation Company rerouted its track, connecting Portland to Bend through a river canyon. This diversion spelled doom for Shaniko, gradually causing it to perish away into abandonment. Despite occasional surges in population due to construction projects, by the 1960s, the bustling streets dwindled to just a handful of residents. Eventually, it transformed into a true ghost town, attracting curious visitors year after year. However, due to certain structural limitations, it struggles to accommodate large-scale tourism. Even in its ghostly state, the town's fate seems strangely plagued by misfortune. 
leaving one to ponder the mysteries that haunt its deserted streets. Number two, the most religious abandoned house. Within the confines of a once inhabited house, a chaotic jumble of belongings remains, left behind as remnants of a life now past. It's evident that the previous occupant, likely an elderly individual, has departed, leaving behind a tangible narrative of their existence. As the camera delves deeper into the scene, it becomes apparent that this isn't just an ordinary abandoned home. Rather, it was inhabited by a hoarder, someone afflicted by a mental disorder that can wreak havoc on lives. While exploring dilapidated homes may hold a certain allure, there's an undeniable peculiarity in encountering one still shining with personal effects. Despite its abandonment, there's a lingering sense that the home still belongs to someone, perhaps someone who may return. Amidst the chaos, the explorer stumbles upon a peculiar discovery in the Netherlands, a trove of religious statues. While some may find peace in such religious icons, others might perceive it as strange or unsettling. Yet the sheer magnitude of the collection transcends mere curiosity. It rivals the religious artifacts found in the most revered places of worship. Number 1. UFO Village in Taiwan In Taiwan, there exists a peculiar spot known as the UFO Village, although it's not filled with extraterrestrial craft, as the name might suggest. Yet an air of enigma envelops this place, hiding it in mystery that piques the curiosity of many. According to Atlas Obscura, information about its origins or precise location of construction remains elusive, adding to its mystique. This cluster of pod-shaped dwellings emerged during the 1970s, earning the nickname Venutros for the square structures and Futureros for the circular ones. However, since then, the village has largely remained stagnant, frozen in time. The reasons for its abandonment remain speculative. Some suggest that the rise of neighboring property developments drew away potential residents, while others propose that the cost of maintaining these unique houses became prohibitive. John Sabo, a fearless urban explorer, dared to venture into the heart of this enigmatic village. What he found was a scene of desolation and decay, as the once vibrant pods now stood weathered and worn. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.